Yeah, children, today we will discuss what are the rules we will follow to draw ray diagrams. Please all of you check children, what are the rules we follow to draw ray diagrams. All of you please see children. What are the rules we follow to draw ray diagrams. Okay, whether it is lenses or mirrors, uh, let me explain with lenses so that you understand very easily. Or with mirror also any use of it. First I will explain with mirror and also along with the lens simultaneously. This is the lens and this is the mirror. Children, what is this called? Hole. Hole. This is called optic center. Children, this is called principal axis. This is focus. This is center of curvature. All of you know this. Okay. So this is center of curvature. Try to understand, children. First rule. Line coming parallel to the principal axis. This is principal axis, no children. Any light ray coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection, compulsory goes through focus. Those who do not understand, again I am saying. Try to understand children. A light ray coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection compulsory goes to the focus because focus is the point where all light rays meet. So, what, what is the first rule, children? Any light ray coming parallel to the principal axis compulsory we should pass it through focus. So, what you say? Light ray passing parallel to principal axis. Parallel to principal axis passes through. Don't forget. Again, I'm saying those who didn't understand. Okay, this is a mirror or lens or whatever it is. Okay, if light ray is coming by the principal axis, compulsory it goes through focus. If it is a lens, children, and this is a principal axis, a light ray coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction goes through focus. So light ray coming parallel goes through focus. 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 Okay, children, this is first rule. What is the first rule? Light ray coming parallel to the axis goes to focus. Second rule. What is the second rule? Second rule states that, children, this is principal axis, this is mirror, try to understand. This is pole, this is focus. What is second rule means? All of you try to understand, children. We have to follow these rules while drawing the ray diagrams. Any light ray going to focus, any light ray going to focus goes parallel to the principal axis. Why is it what's obvious? If it is parallel, it goes to focus. If it is coming through focus, goes parallel. Again, if it is parallel, goes through focus. If it is coming through focus, goes parallel. So, what is the second rule? Light ray. Please try to understand. Light ray going through focus, passing through focus. Light ray going through focus, pass parallel to principal axis. Parallel to principal axis. Try to understand. Okay, if it is parallel to the principal axis, goes to focus. If it is going to focus, goes parallel to the principal axis. This is the second rule. What is the third rule? Third rule states that, children, this is mirror. Imagine this is mirror. This is your pole. This is focus. And this is center of curvature. Okay, any light ray going through center of curvature, any light ray going through center of curvature, after reflection, goes to the same point. V traces its position. Again, I'm saying if a light ray is going to the center of curvature, after reflection, again goes in the same path. So you may ask why is like that? Why means here if you draw a tangent, children, this is a circle now. Here if you draw a tangent, tangent to the radius is always 90 degrees. Any normal incidence will go without reflection. Any normal incidence go without undergoing uh, bending. Any normal incidence goes same. If you put exactly down children, exactly comes to your handle like that. It hits at normal children. It hits at normal because radius to tangent is always 90 degrees. Radius is perpendicular to tangent. So children, so what is third rule means? Light ray passing through center of curvature. Light ray going passing through center of curvature retraces its path. Retraces its path. Okay, children? Or it goes undeviated. We can say it goes undeviated. It goes undeviated. Let's see this. After coming here, it's not bending. Like here, it is going not, children. So, light ray going through center of curvature does not get uh, deviated. Or light ray going through center of curvature retraces its path. Retraces its path. Okay, children? So, any light ray going through center of curvature again reflects back in the same position. 
screen of I call it three rows here. What is the first row? Light ray parallel to physical axis goes through focus. What is the second row? Light ray going through, through the focus goes parallel to physical axis. What is the third row? Light ray going through center of curvature does not deviate. Light ray going through center of curvature does not deviate. Goes again in the same direction. Okay, children, three rows I call children, four rows. If I have it with the lenses, children, if ever it is a lenses, suppose it is a lenses, this is called, children, here it is called pole, no, children, in lenses this is called optic center, light ray going through optic center does not deviate, light ray going through optic center does not deviate, light ray going through center, uh, optic center, light ray going through optic center does not deviate. Right way going to optic center does not deviate. These are the four rules to draw a ray. So look at this rules channel. Okay, if it is coming parallel, it goes to focus. If it is going to focus, goes parallel. And right way going to optic center does not deviate. And here right way going to center of curvature, right way to this one does not deviate. Okay, children. Last time I'm repeating the statement, children. Right way going parallel this like to goes through focus. Light ray through focus goes parallel. And right way going to center of curvature does not deviate. Light ray going to optic center does not deviate. These are the four rules which we have to follow while drawing the red question and you should not have Okay, Shana? I hope you will understand and tomorrow in next class I will tell how to draw the red question. Thank you.